Hi, my name is Eddie, and this is my story. I'm a landscaper, uh, small business owner, father of three, Adrian, Anthony, and Nicholas. Uh, proud husband to Kristen Papiro uh, of going on 13 years now. This is my home, away from home, the training center. I'm a uh, amateur bodybuilder with the dreams and aspirations of becoming a professional bodybuilder. So this is it, man. Let's go for a ride. Buckle up. Shoulder joint problems. Everything hurts. Yeah, cuz. Come on. Angel have details about Rocky. Shit. Tell me you're telling secrets, motherfucker. I'm going to argue you with shallow side. You're not going to take it for this. Excellent day. So, what originally got you to start working out? Excuse me. What originally got you started working out? Uh, well, I, I was a wrestler. So, I always weight trained, but uh, never, never bodybuilding. None of whatever you call it. So I had a homeboy's training to do. Mr. Philadelphia is working with Freddie. And he just came up a little bit short. So he dared me to do it, gave me the trunks, and that was when I was 30. So then I did it again this year, and I guess I, I really invested in it this time. I won the show. I got to stay out for the open. So I'm gonna keep pushing it this time. I'm not gonna fall You're off. It's 36. I'll be 37 in the spring, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna push hard, man. I feel young, you know. I ain't dead yet. Let's get a dozen. super skinny. So this way, I made sure I packed in all my calories, trained, had to shake the Gatorade, and then still safe. You know, I would sandbag that last meal, so I would eat something, which was usually 10 to 14 egg whites and fucking asparagus, spear after spear after spear. So that was... You, you, said, you said you would eat your food cold during your prep. All day, yeah. I mean, I landscape, so... If you want to eat, you know, I have no problem with eating. I have the time to eat, you know, I'm, I'm my own boss. But you're not, they're not letting you in to use the microwave, bro. Right. You know, so it is what it is. I converted all the rice, which sucks eating cold, over to potatoes. So I think I had maybe 150 pounds of potatoes in 120 days, something crazy like that. 60 pounds of chicken. 30, 40 pounds of steak. This shit's not cheap, I can tell you that. So, all right, come on, let's pick some up. Take a little break, and then we'll just keep pulling plates off again. Super dumb drop set. <sighs> Nice eating again. Nah. It's just that rice cake with the honey, bro. That's, That's all the fun you did? Yeah. Don't need none of that shit. Bro. Listen, wait till you have three kids, cuz. You know, you know what I'm saying? You want Junior running around in Nikes, cuz. You don't give a fuck about that pre workout. So, nah, I don't take any of that shit. I take um, ISO 100 uh, and. Promare Concrete, they're, they're a brand of um, creatine, that's it. You know, if I have extra money, I like glutamine, but like, we ain't got nothing right now. So you just keep training, keep going, keep eating. Big steak, baby. Big steak, I ain't worried about it. It'll be all right. I got too many samples, that's why. Yeah. I used to work at GNC, but I would always say, 
Come on. Ugh. I ain't count. Uh, one, two, three, that's enough. Uh, uh, let's get another one. Up. Come on. One more. One more. One more. Make it three. There it is. Come on. Come on. I warm up too for everything that I do now. Like I don't really. Everything. No matter what I'm doing. Every every muscle group. I don't know if that's right, but it hurts. So that motherfucker got to be doing something. Oh man, when I was young, we had pagers. So we would call somebody if it's from someone's home number at the end, you put your code for your young guys. So my homeboy's code was 33. Crashed his car and died when I was 19. So we're 33 in it up now. Whew. So you that's, is that the one when you say, uh, what up, Stevie? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ah, shit. Awesome. Alright, let's go. Come on. Something. We're gonna do a dumb drop set now too. Every exercise. Right now what I can eat. I like doing drop sets. Do you wear a belt whatever every time you work out? Uh yeah, yeah, believe it or not. Um I mean sometimes I'll take it off if I'm gonna get really crunched in the leg machine or something, but I don't know, it gives me a little sense of security. Training with two herniated discs, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> now you know my shoulders hurt, my back injuries. Oh, uh, listen, and don't, I gotta change my fun facts for the gym. I'm actually a crier. So watch asking me questions about my 33 or my kids. But we'll get there. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, let's go. We got, I'm gonna drop set this, and then we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna hit. That bent, that uh, hammer, hammer. My super set it with one hand. Cable crosses. How That's some custom want? shit. How much do you want on it? Homemade. You want two, three plates on it? Five. Nah, we'll start out. I gotta warm up. I'll do a plate, two plates. I'm gonna try to go 20 on the 20, now, run over super set 20, five, then do 15, 15, and I gotta do five, five on the workout. Obviously, I mean, I, I just went, trained for a show in Baltimore and won the novice in the open. Uh, I do struggle with staying on my diet. I struggle with not drinking beer. You know, just regular everyday stuff, dude. I, 
I have a crew of guys that work for me. It's a lot of fun when you get off work to have a cold beer, you know, and shit like that. So that's just normal everyday stuff. I struggle with the most important thing is not complaining, not whining about some shit you asked to get involved in. Don't bring your sorry non-eating ass to the dinner table in front of your kids. You know, so that's my 2017 goal. I think I got the rest of the shit kind of figured out. I'm gonna let my coach, you know, sculpt the masterpiece for 2017 and, you know, I'm gonna be on my best behavior to leave it all in the gym. Not bring that shit home and never let anybody see you anything but strong. You know, carry yourself confidently, positively, you know, and, and, and bust that ass at everything you do. You know, I want someone to look at me and think about that that's hard work right there. You know, I don't want somebody to look at me and think, well, is he gonna get it done or not? I mean, I, jokers stare at my forearms, man. There's veins jumping out of them. You don't, you can't buy this shit. It's not for sale at the mall. You gotta earn it, homes. All right, we're gonna go as many as I can. Put, put that up on that quarter for me, Sean, please. That was even a little low for me. Yeah, I mean, it's not to, I wouldn't say it's the best exercise, you know. I, I like a barbell for, yeah, that's what I'm chasing, a dumb pump. I, you know, my favorite is barbells, everything barbell. I like the, the dumbbells, I use them. But for me, with a bad back, I don't want to carry a 120 pound dumbbell over there and hurt myself, or drop it on my toes or, I mean, when I, have, when I work with Freddie and them guys, you know, I got real help, I'll use it, but for the most part, man, I like the bar. It's sitting there waiting for you to lift it. And then hit it, this is cable action. Come on! Woo. Let's go. part of the game. <laughs> All right, man. Man, as we can get, finish up over here. And I'm gonna show you my little double top secret, super old school joint. My Fred owns the rolls. That's all you been working on? Yeah. I'll say what, 10 years? Yeah, well, I can't say I was consistent, but through coaching wrestling and everything, I mean, I stayed pretty fit. I mean, you see my fat picture ain't that bad. Yeah. I mean, you know, I wasn't the same 185 now. I mean, I had the gut and all that, but I mean, I always could move pretty good. You know what I mean? I just got complacent. I just invested more time in my kids than in here, which is legit. You know, I can't complain about that. You know, they deserve that. But now they're a little bit older. It's a little easier on mom. You know, and then I condition myself to train late at night and early in the morning. So I'm home during the day with them. Happy wife, happy life. Hi, right, honey. <laughs> <laughs> it's all over there. <laughs> Come out. Yeah, yeah, so uh, it's like my, what do you call it, your, uh, my platform or my vehicle that I'm gonna use to, to, to do my charity work and all that stuff, you know, like, you know, obviously goal one is create a physique that's gonna be worthy of someone thinking that that is a national caliber or a pro or whatever, whatever pro card worthy, you know, and then get a little help with the eating and the traveling and then, I mean, I got my own business. I don't. I didn't get into it for money. I want to run around and give out phone checks to kids that need shit. You know what I mean? I want to be in that stuff. My wife just got her master's. 
feel like, I mean, that's what I'm into. I've done it, I've advocated for the blind. My two sons are, were born legally blind with a condition called Lieber's congenital amneurosis. I can't spell it. Um, so my oldest son was in a clinical trial. He was the youngest kid ever to have his vision restored from, uh, I guess what they would consider blind to legally blind. And he was diagnosed to go totally blind by the time he was 30. So, you know, by your guy's age, he wouldn't see anything. The doctor said if he took one of these lights and covered it with a black piece of paper and put a pencil, you know, a pencil hole in it, that's how much light he perceives compared to, to us, you know. So it's a deficiency in his rods and cones. For anybody who's intelligent, they know what that is. I didn't know about any of that, but when they tell you your kid can't see, you get to be an eye doctor which is probably another reason why I stay in here and lift the shit out of these weights. Um, you know this, it's easy to be miserable, man. It's hard to be happy every day. It's a, it's a legit challenge, you know what I mean? And I'm always game for a challenge. So let's go get it for a little bit. All right. Woo. I think I'm gonna put together maybe two or three exercises, three rounds each. So I just try to get it something different every time. Just work until I wanna throw up. Real technical. So I'm gonna start on this machine and hit that with some. Dips. Yeah, and then I think I'm gonna do maybe a round of push downs with bench dips, body weighted, and then maybe maybe I'll just I'll figure it out from there. I don't like to think too far ahead, one rep at a time. What's your ultimate? What's your like ultimate favorite cheat meal? Lobster. Lobster? Yeah, but I don't think that's a, I guess you want a bad one? Probably cheeseburgers is my favorite, man. I fuck cheeseburgers up the most. Um, I used to like that stromboli. I know you guys probably seen that picture. It was more like a staged picture, dude. I took one bite of it, and it's just, it's not the same anymore after a year of not eating it. It's just, it just tears my stomach up, man. So that was, that was pretty good for me, man. My wife made a healthy change. So, you know, the house is, the cooking is much easier when everybody's eating the same. And just, I mean, if I can get a couple more years on the back end, dude, for not having hoagies, I'm cool with that, dude. You know. So. Are you using this bar? Yeah, I'm going to start with that. I like that. The black one's cool. What do you say? Not really bar specific, man. You know, like a lot of guys like different. It's good enough for me. Yeah. 60, 60 sounds good. Volume. A lot of reps. Count them when they start hurting. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, bro? Hey, I thought it was a celebrity. Oh, man, you know it. <laughs> <sighs> hard to grow too when you're in a rush so you know, that's only probably the most solid advice I got from Freddie and Kyle is just to you know don't don't lift 
don't overlift, you know. Like the first time I did it, I, I continued with the crazy drop sets all the way through, and I was, I was pretty skinny, you know. I, I only came in at 158. This time I was 170, and I, and I lifted lighter weights too. I mean, getting crazy pumped down there near the boys' room with the fives. Just dumb shit. Like right now I'm eating, I can keep a pace, you know. But like leg day, you know, so it's, it's about getting the quality rep, you know. So I mean, if I got to be here for three hours, and that is what it is, you know what I mean. So. That's the part where it gets hard on, you know, having a family and a job and all that. So, I mean, I try to get, I mean, my own, I own my company. So, if I can get eight hours work, work done in six, we're getting it done in six. I'm pushing to get it done in five. You know, I pay the guys a full day, and then I come here, you know. Soon, yeah, we'll, 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 we're hoping for snow. So, I mean, right now, I'm fortunate that I can really get in here and take my time to lift. But soon it'll be back to crazy diet, lifting nine o'clock at night because you know I got to be there to put the kids in bed, to help with bass. You know I can't push everything off on on the boss. So I lift nine to eleven, no electronics, bro. Hit the sack, wake back up at four, and I'm in here at five. Cardio every morning, you know, one day off a week. So it's, I mean it's a major commitment, man. You know, but I'm gonna do it. Look easy, man. Dude, it ain't. It's, I come in here and I feed off of you guys. Because I can tell you, bro, I'll be down like a motherfucker some days. But that's the game, man. You know? So you still are human, even though the way you look. All day, dude. All day. Super, super lame, bro. You know what I mean? I'll be hurting like a motherfucker. You know, regular shit. I got $19.99 in the bank. It is what it is, you know what I mean? I know I don't have a boss. My gym membership's paid. Ain't, and all my bills at the house are paid. You know, I've, every bet I make is on myself now. You know, I, I don't have no one else pulling the strings. I had a lot of good jobs. I was always in a management or, or like a, a, a key holder, a position of trust, whatever you want to call it. But that's somebody else's dream, you know? So what drove me more than anything is my kids. You know, if they, if they don't have shit, God forbid this cure doesn't work, you know, they'll be able to point their finger. Because I'm going to dig enough holes in the ground that that's going to be possible for him. You know? Teach him that you don't ever give up. You know, a lot of people... Like when I was a little man, I was... I mean, you know, Michael Jordan was my hero. You know, but I, I have an opportunity to put my kid's hero in, a, in the home with him. You know, if it, like that's what the kids look up to. A pro athlete, boom, we'll check that off the list. Uh, active dad. Boom, we checked that off the list. Uh, my dad's my wrestling coach. All that shit, man. You know, I never had any of that. So that's what I'm going to give those little guys. And leave my cranky in here. Uh, yeah, yeah. My uh, oldest daughter, she's 17. She doesn't have uh, um, the eye condition. She's my stepdaughter. Um, I've been dad since she was one. So lucky for her. Um, you know, my wife and I obviously didn't have the the gene mix there. But we went two for two with the boys. And I think that uh, only 3,000 people in the world carry that gene mutation. Uh, and, and only, you know, my son being only the 26th of that 3,000 that they've even been able to have a treatment for. So I, I don't know, roughly, what do we got? A couple billion people on the planet? So fuck buying Powerball tickets, bro. I already hit the lottery. <laughs> Ooh, we're gonna pump this motherfucking iron, baby. Get me out. Uh, I guess they count this as one now. Right? Is it? Yeah. I got my neck, my chest, my stomach. Freddie told me don't get no more. So I did get my hands, but I don't think they're, we ain't flexing that at, at the show. So that's cool, I mean, it's their, their rules, you know what I mean? Like the first time I did it, I was very, I didn't work on my posing, you know? And, and they can see that, you know? So the next time I came, I worked on my posing. You know, this time, I feel personally, I need more hamstrings. But I don't have a year, you know? So I'm, I'm, I'm cramming for the test, you know? I can only get so much done. So I emailed, you know, I wait for my results to see what they say. 
I mean, critique me. You know, I, I believe that if that's who's measuring you, you know, you, you, you should listen to their opinion. You know, like, I'm happy with the way I look, but I'm not the judge. You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm coachable. You know, I guess that's the, the term for it. You know, I'm game to do whatever. I enjoy coming in here and trashing myself. So, you know, if all I need is some direction, give it up, cuz. You'd be a fool not to listen. You know, I do whatever Fred says. I do like I call him my young boy, but Kyle's sitting, he's knowledgeable. You know, he's right there with me. He was backstage, prepped me up. Dude, when I was back there, these guys are standing around, socializing. Bro, I was feet up, meals. Like, taking it seriously. Like, you know, these kids are all 10 years. You guys are a lot younger than me. You have a, you can get it wrong a couple times. It's hard for me to dig up five, six thousand dollars to spend 10 months to look nice for one day. So I don't have no margin for error. So I took, you know, like a handler down there, took that shit seriously, you know. I, I, I only had my feet up, I had a room, but wasn't at the show, I was asleep. You know, I put all my, my work in, in the gym. I stopped training legs two weeks out. You know, I totally, I gave Fred the keys to the car, you know what I mean? I did whatever they said, it works out. You know, I, I'm no fitness guru, dude. You know, I just have drive. You know, I just come in every day and do what he says. It's funny, because you know, when you get skinny, so people ask me, oh my God, what do you eat, what do you do? I said, dude, I don't know. I have no clue. I've seen them hashtags, man. I pay Fred Biggie Smalls. I pay. It's not free. <laughs> None of that shit free, B. Whew. That's the one thing, that being a little older than you guys, you know what I mean? I, I, I still listen to what they say. It just makes it easier for me. If you don't have scheduling, fucking maintenance, the family, the kids, my daughters are cheerleading, I coach wrestling two days a week, the kids gotta get here. Dude, I don't have 20 years of catching up to do to figure out how to do anything. You're more proactive than reactive. Dude, getting it. Like, you could, I don't ever say anything. If you're fit, you're fit, that's awesome. But I have different goals. So, you know, 10 months ago, I seen both of you guys and chased you down. I seen Oche, I want to chase him down. I trained with him, pick you guys out, you know what I'm saying? And I, and I have to be competitive, you know? And then when I feel like I can, I'm at least on your level, I'm gonna jump in your circle and run you in the mud. And I enjoy it, man, you know? And everyone in here has that same mentality. Because if you're not like that, dude, you're never gonna get better. You know, like, I mean, every time I come in, it's a personal record. I don't write that shit down, dude. We're going in. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the workout. Uh, if you want to get a hold of me, standing up score 33. Uh, if you want to hire me, I'm actually a professional landscaper. Big shout out to Hog, my homeboys. Thanks for having me, man. I hope you guys had a good time. Thank you very much.